Welcome to our exciting journey where we'll show you how to create engaging faceless videos using ChatGPT for content generation and Filmora for video editing. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to monetize your YouTube channel without needing to appear on camera. Let's dive in. First we go to ChatGPT and provide a prompt, like, Create a script for my YouTube video on the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. ChatGPT then generates a script based on our prompt. Next, we need to shorten this script. So, I give another prompt to ChatGPT to condense it. After shortening, I copy the script and paste it into a new Microsoft Word or rich text format file. I then remove any extra text and errors to prepare the script for text-to-speech in AI video. Once this is done our script is ready. Now, let's copy the script. Open Filmora Video Editor, where you'll find various tools in the AI toolbox on the startup window. Click on the AI text video tool and paste your copied ChatGPT script. You can directly convert this script to video from here, but I'd like to show you how to create a script within Filmora as well. Click on the Generated by AI button. You'll need to make some settings to create the script. You have three options, informative explanatory article, opinion piece, product coverage, and others. I choose the informative explanatory article option. Write the text topic for example, the fall of the Berlin Wall 1989, and then add more details about the topic. After this, click the Generate Text button. Filmora will generate our script through AI. Now, we need to set up the AI text to video. First, select the voice language. I choose English Us. Then pick the text to speech artist. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. Wondershare, Creativity Simplified. I choose Davis's voice for my video. Filmora's AI text to video tool also offers a voice clone option. You can record a short sample, and the software will create a synthetic version that can narrate your videos. Next, select the video ratio. For example, I choose the 16:9 widescreen ratio for this video. After doing this, click on the text to video option below. Your text will start generating into the video with the help of AI. Once the script is generated, Filmora will place all the clips, text and audio of our video project on the timeline. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're exploring the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 war. Today, it stands as a powerful symbol of hope, unity and resilience. Now it's time to use our creativity and skills to further refine this project. For this, we can use more professional and advanced tools in Filmora. For example, to change the music on the timeline, go to the Audio tab and select the AI Music tool. Here, you can adjust the mood, theme, genre, and other settings to generate your AI music. Click on Settings to adjust the tempo of the music, choosing between Low, Normal, and High Tempo. I choose Normal Tempo. Then, Select the duration of the music to match your video and choose the number of music key counts to generate. I select 3. Click the Generate button, and your AI music will start generating. After a few seconds you'll have new music for your project. You can play the music to see which one fits best for your project. Then download and replace it in your video. For further adjustments of the music or audio, double-click on it to open more settings in the audio panel. Hey, we're exploring the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. If you want to change the sound of your voiceover or the pitch of the music, click on the Voice Changer section within the audio panel. Here, you'll find many audio effects like echo, lobby, phone and various room effects. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to, to my YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to my... Hey everyone. You'll also find voice character effects such as hacker, child, or AI robot voices. Hey everyone. What? Hey everyone. What? Hey everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Choose one of these voice changer effects, like the echo effect. Hey. 
and adjust its settings such as delay time and delay factor. Today, we're exploring the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. This will help you fine-tune the audio to fit perfectly with your project. Now, to apply this echo effect to all the audio on your timeline, right-click on the audio and select Copy Effect. Then select all the audio clips you want to apply it to. Right-click and select Paste. Channel of unforgettable celebration, the fall unity and resilience. Thanks for watching. Next, let's translate your voiceover. Right click on your voiceover and select AI translation tool. You will have two options translate voice and text, or translate text only. I choose translate text only. Select the source language, I choose English, and the target language, I select Arabic. If you want to translate all the voiceovers on the timeline, select all the audio clips, right-click and select AI Translation Tool. Adjust the settings as before, and click the Translate button. Once the translation is complete, you'll see both the English and Arabic voiceovers on your timeline. To avoid confusion, disable the voiceover in one of the languages, I disable the English voiceover. مرحبا بالجميع مرحبا بعودتي في قناتي على اليوتيوب اليوم نستكشف سقوط جدار برلين في عام 1990 If you want to adjust the position of all subtitles at once compound clip them and adjust their position in one go For advanced subtitle settings double click on the subtitle to open the edit subtitle tool here you can make various adjustments You can choose presets for subtitles, like full color text for a visually appealing look. In the Customize section, you can further adjust fill, effect, opacity, outline, background, and more. Additionally, in the Animation section, you can add animations to your subtitles. Choose from In Animations, Out Animations, and Loop Animations to create dynamic, moving subtitles. You can also adjust the duration of the animations to be shorter or longer. Experiment with different animations and apply the ones you like best with a single click. To make your project even more engaging, you can use audio-driven text. Go to the title step and search for audio-driven. This feature will help synchronize your text with the audio adding another layer of interactivity to your video. So you'll see all the audio-driven text options, which are animated text animations that play along with your audio. Simply drag and drop the audio-driven text of your choice onto the timeline. To edit it, double-click on it and make your changes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're exploring the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. Next, add AI stickers to your project to make your video more engaging. Go to the Sticker step and click on the AI Sticker tool. It will generate AI stickers for you. Describe the sticker you want to create like Germany and the Cold War. Then choose the sticker category. 3D, Sketch, Vector, Crystal or Illustration. Click on Generate and your stickers will be created in a few seconds. Drag and drop the sticker you like best onto the timeline. Then adjust its size and position using the Transform tool. Add keyframes to the sticker to make it more animated and adjust the values in all keyframes. Copy the keyframes to repeat the same animation and paste them at the end of the sticker. Then swap the keyframes to reverse the animation. Click the keyframe panel to make the animation smoother. Select all the keyframes and curve them. Now, let's add transitions. Go to the transitions tab and click on it. Drag and drop the transitions you like between two clips in the project. Manually adjust the duration and mode of the transition in the transition settings. Transitions play a crucial role in your video by connecting one clip to another beautifully and adding movement and a polished look. To add AI-generated images to your project, click on the Stock Media tab and select the AI Image Generator tool. 
Choose the file category such as realistic landscape, portrait or hand-drawn etc. Then, provide your prompt for the image. After entering the prompt, click on settings and choose the aspect ratio of the image. For example, I chose 69. Then click the generate button and your images will be created. Filmora 13's AI image generator allows you to describe what you need from a bustling city scene to a watercolor landscape. And it creates it in seconds. To apply animation to any video or image on your timeline, double click it, go to the animation section and select an animation. By clicking on any animation of your choice, it will automatically be applied to your footage. If you have a photo or video in your project that needs the background removed, select the video, go to AMA tools, and click on the AI portrait tool. Turn on the AI portrait toggle in the AI tools section, and the background of your video or any clip will be removed. You can also add a photo or video in the background of this video if you want. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video. Now, let's export this video in landscape format, suitable for our YouTube long video format. Set the output settings of the video by following the steps. Then click the export button to export the video. This video will be perfect for our YouTube long video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're exploring the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, a moment that marked the end of a divided Germany and the Cold War. Next, let's convert the same project into a short video format. First, we need to disable the subtitles. So, I disable all subtitles and text on the timeline. Now, I export the project again using the same output settings, but with no text and no subtitles. Then I close the project. Next, I click on the AI toolbox again and select the Auto Reformat tool. I click the Import button and import my video without subtitles and text. First, I choose the aspect ratio. I select 916 for my video. In the motion speed option, you will get auto, fast and slow options. I choose the auto option. After doing all this, click the analyze button. The auto frame analysis of your video will start. Once the process is complete, our video will be saved in a 916 aspect ratio. Now, let's add subtitles and text to the short video. Go back to Filmora and disable or delete everything except the subtitles and text. Then, drag and drop the auto-framed video onto the timeline. You will see these settings. If the aspect ratio of the video matches the media, it will be added to the same short video format. You can also change the aspect ratio at any time in the project settings. After that, click the export button and export the video. And with that, we've built YouTube video automation with Filmora 13. Alright everyone that's it for our journey into creating engaging faceless YouTube videos with AI. We explored the power of ChatGPT for script generation and Filmora for editing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content creation tips, and leave a comment below letting me know what kind of faceless video content you'd like to see next. Thanks, and happy creating!